up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mo.J and we are locked in. We got the exclusive photos for episode three of Ghost. And let me tell you, we have to pick a side. I'm going to continue to say this until the end of the season. You're either with Tariq or you're against Tariq. We got Tariq, Braden, and Davis versus all the Tejada kids. Can't trust any of them. Monet, you never know if she's going to have a good day or a bad day. And Noma with Detective Don Carter. So you decide right now but before we jump into this and we break down these photos and we give our predictions if you like power content breakdowns theories and predictions like this recaps after show discussions then you're at the right place hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload i am on that road to 50,000 subscribers and we need a little under 1100 more and we are right there so let's jump into it this is the exclusive photos for episode three of ghost the series finale Things are going to get very interesting when it comes to Don Carter and his task force. Now, we do see Rashad Tate's brother, Kamal Tate, who is still a police officer. Now, this is how we know it's about to get real, real deep because Kamal knows a little bit about what was going on behind the scenes with James St. Patrick because of his brother, Rashad Tate, who was living on his couch for a while. Now, this task force, they've already been out in the streets and they've been connecting the dots. We know about the Russian drug bust and gun bust that they did in that first episode that we seen Don Carter and now Don Carter has already approached Tariq he's approached Davis and we know he's about to start going to each individual member to find out who's next now there will be an interrogation of Obi this week and I want to know if Kamal is going to be involved in this or if Don Carter is going to be the one to take the lead on it there's been mentioning and we also seen in the trailer that there's some underground fighting that will be going on. Now, Davis is talking to Tariq and Braden and he's telling them what we've seen in the trailer. Hey, do whatever it takes to get that work. Now, there is a guy by the name of Zion and there is another guy by the name of Raymond. And we need to figure out who is who. Rather, Zion is the guy that's doing the drugs as far as supplying them or is he the guy that's gonna be setting up the underground fighting at the fight club? But Davis, he's back into the game because we know that he's suspended at the moment and he needs some money. There was a clip that dropped that said they needed to make $300,000. And this is one reason we see Davis applying that pressure to Tariq and Brayton to get their hands a little dirty. They just have to be cautious because remember, Noma told them that they couldn't sell any more dope during this truce. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this money that Tariq is putting out here, this is money that they're probably putting into the fight club. Now it could be into the dope game, but I don't think that she was doing anything that was dealing with the dope. Remember, she was kind of spying and saying, hey, you need to get over here. Now, Tariq might be paying her for some information. Hey, what do you know going on? Because initially she was one of the people that were going for that hit to get the money on Tariq. So it's more likely that Tariq is paying her for some information or maybe what the Tejadas are doing, how Kane is moving. Because at this point, Tariq doesn't have anyone in his corner. Him and Braden are building this thing back up from the ground on their own. All they have is a little bit of guidance from Davis. Anytime we see the Tejada family at the dinner table, just prepare for the worst. Now in the trailer, we do hear Monet talking and they show Diana sitting at the table. So I'm assuming that whatever they were talking about right now, is what she's gonna say later on that she feels that Diana was lying to her. Now she might be telling that to Tariq. Now, Monet still needs to piece together everything that's been going on with the shooting that happened to her. And remember, she also heard Drew and Diana, the undynamic duo in the kitchen talking about they need to be better than Monet. And this is coming from Drew right after he was about to do something with her pills to probably try to unalive her. So at this moment, she can't trust any of her kids. Kane is out here wilding out. We don't know where he's at. He's working with Noma. Noma and Monet are beefing. And now Drew and Diana, the only two kids left, she can't trust. We were talking about Kane and being a loose cannon. Well, we know him and Noma are getting very, very close. They had a little glass of scotch. They kicked Obi out of here. Obi will be in jail this episode with questioning by Don Carter. So no one's probably looking at it like, okay, we just got you out of prison or out of jail. What did you say? Can she trust Obi? And the reason we want to know, can she trust Obi? He got the green cards behind her back. 
So with Kane getting close to Noma, it looks like he's moving into that security spot and Obi is going to be the one exiled. We know that he teamed up with Tariq and we know Brayton is on that side also, but now it looks like he's about to be the odd man out. With Kane and Noma getting close, this could get very ugly for Obi and he, he might not make it. He might be unalive. Now, do I believe that Obi gave up any information on Noma when he's talking to Don Carter? I definitely don't. So seeing him coming out like this and fixing up his tie and everything, it's kind of like, yeah, they ain't getting nothing from me. But we've seen the photo of him in the room with Noma and Kane. Now, in the dope game, we all know you can't trust anybody. On my channel, we can't trust anybody, and everyone is a suspect until we remove them from the board. But Don Carter is going to be persistent and he's going to keep his foot on everyone's necks. So he may have got just a little bit of information that he can probably take as a lead, but not enough to bring anybody down. Now, I don't know who this lady is on the right, but the way Don is looking at her, this is probably Obi's lawyer. Obi said, I'm not going to talk to nobody without a lawyer present. And this is might be her saying, hey, you need to let my client go. If you think back in episode two, when Brayden first met Elle, when she got off the stage, she knew exactly who Brayden Weston was in the profession that he was in. He was the biggest drug dealer on campus. Now listen to what she said closely. She said, too bad you're not in your profession anymore after Brayden says he doesn't move dope. He's in real estate. She said, it's unfortunate because she needs a new connect. So this could be Brayden's new in. Of course, he needs him a love interest, so why not? They had a little flirting going on. Bruchandria was hating. But him and Tariq are trying to get in the game. And they're not allowed to put their hands on any of the work. So if he goes directly to her and has her move the product, then they'll just get the money back. And now she's the connect on campus. It's the circle of life. You lose one connect, the next one pops up. Now, this is one thing I'm iffy about on the show, this Fight Club Underground. I want to see how they introduce this and where we're going to go with it. But it looks like Davis is going to be the one to take the lead on this and show Tariq and Braden what they need to do in this underground. Now, there is a video that dropped this week, and it does show Davis texting Tariq about $300,000 that they need to give to Zion. And then we also see in the trailer that Tariq and Braden are in front of somebody with a a big briefcase of cash so they're probably going to get down here in the underground and make some money they may eventually bring kane in because we know that kane is going to be fighting and betting on him or kane he hears about them being in the underground and he tries to you know mess up all of their money and beat up whoever they're betting on but we will see how this plays out hopefully the fight club is actually pretty entertaining all right, there you go. The exclusive photo breakdown of episode three. Let me know what you think about the whole Fight Club situation. And primarily, do you believe that Obi is going to give up any information or he's going to hold it down for Noma, even though she's been treating him like a stepchild? Let me know what you think. I'm Mode IJ. If you like this kind of content, these breakdowns, if I made you think or you got some ideas, let's get that conversation going and hit that subscribe button. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of y'all. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. I'm out.